use. I'm just going to do a little quick tutorial of how to install WordPress SEO by Yoast, which is the new plugin um, that I'm using to add page titles and descriptions to my WordPress blog. So you type in here, search plugins and do Yoast. Just going to do that one more time, and my internet has been a little slow. So then the one we're going to want is WordPress SEO by Yoast. So we go to install now. Are you sure you're going to install it? Yes, we are. Let's wait for that. Now we're going to go to activate plugin. To help them get stats for their stuff. So now you see here on your dashboard, you have a new section called um, SEO. And the first thing we want to do is definitely go to our titles and latest. Let's wait for that to, to load. To load this, this internet. Alright, back to the titles and meta tags. So I want to make sure um, they have really good instructions here. For example, if you want to use meta keyword tags, as I mentioned before, Google is phasing out keyword tags and they put a little funny thing here. It says, I don't know why you want to use meta keywords, but if you do, you can check this box. So they're pretty, um, give you hands on instructions of actually exactly what to do. So I go to home and my title type here, it's saying site name, page. I'm going to erase this and I'm going to put central. Jersey wedding photographer. Remember, keep it at 65, um, up to 65 characters. I'm actually going to put a venue here that I love working at. Arena Winery wedding photos and New Jersey um, engagements but I could do other things. And I'd like to switch mine up every couple of um, other months. Fuse Reese Studios. Remember, I always recommend for you to say where you're based at. Or you could actually start with that. Several based wedding photography and cinematography studio. Fuse Reese Studios. Surveying New Jersey, New York, PA, and destination weddings, which that might be cut off by Google, right? So this right here is the description and the page tile for when we Google my website, let's say, what I want to appear or your blog, right? So this is right here, okay? And this is what I had before. I'm actually doing a little change. So this is going to be the description. When we go to the actual web page, um, since I don't have a page title here, it's just using my tagline that I've had somewhere. And, and I'll, I'll do that. I'll get like weird text. That's why it's really important for you to have a page title and also description on your website. So now I'm changing that. And destinations. So I'm going to do save. All right, and that's going to take a little while to um, update sometimes. Well, actually, that was pretty fast, and there we go. This is the page title. All right, this is also the text I'm putting here on my website that I think is really important. So now I also want to put this in my post type pages because I want a description there. So anywhere I'm going to put it, as many places as I can. Let's save the settings. Actually, I'm not going to do these formats and other ones because I'm not sure what they are exactly. Remember, I like to keep it simple and do the things that really work for me. So I'm also going to grab this and put it in post types. And in my pages, I definitely want page title on my pages. And I want a page title here so it's not doing something else funky. And you can read more if you want to get more into it and more specific. You can read. Um, they have actually a great tutorial, Yoast does. And 
that's it. That's how you set up the plugin so you can have your page title. And if I go here, you can see it's still here because this I'm using WordPress as my my website. So if you go to my blog, you're gonna see I have page titles. And you're going to see different ones, actually. I don't know if you noticed that, but I actually do have different ones. If you click on it, you'll see it. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Thank you so much. Go get found.